Let's hope it's focused. Hey peeps! So this week I am bringing to you another DIY and it is one that I have been waiting a long time to do. I am so excited. It is so cute and so easy. And basically what I am going to teach you guys how to do are these little cute bokeh lens things for bokeh photography. And I'm going to tell you, they are so damn easy to make. I know what you're thinking, Filippo, what the hell is bokeh? Um, yeah, I didn't know what bokeh photography was until a couple of weeks ago. And when I found out what it was, I completely fell in love. So the, uh, the Wikipedia definition for bokeh describes it as the aesthetic quality of the blur produced in the out-of-focus parts of an image produced by a lens. That's... A bunch of nonsense for me. I'm gonna be honest. I do not know what I'm talking about. I'm not a photography professional, but I do love it and I do love the effects that these lenses make. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make some. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to know more about this stuff, I'm gonna leave you guys a link in the description where you can read all about this. So for this tutorial, you're going to need three things. You're going to need, obviously, all the materials, but I'll get to that. And then you're going to need a camera. Uh, for me, I'm using this one, uh, one I'm filming on. Uh, it is the Canon EOS 500D. There are some really weird mathematical implications that have to deal with a camera lens, but I didn't really have a problem with them, but I'll get to that. Lastly, you are going to need a space with a lot of specks of light, or preferably at night where there's a higher contrast between the darkness and the light. And um, I would advise a high balcony where you can see like a skyline, like the city and stuff. If you have some sort of festival or a market where you can go at night, that's also really cool. I'll show you guys where I'm taking my pictures uh, in a bit. If you have all of those things, then let's get started. So you'll need a camera, some black card, a white pencil, an X-Acto knife, some scissors, a ruler, and an elastic rubber band. The camera that I'm using is the one I used to film in. It is the Canon EOS 500D. It's the 55mm one with the 1.3 focus thingy thing. The smaller that that 1 point something number is, the better. So I am just using the cap of my camera as a stencil because it is larger than the actual lens. So with a white pencil I'm just tracing the outsides of the cap. And then you're going to mark the center of the circle and with a ruler you're going to want to measure out about three centimeter flaps like this. So always lining up with the center of the circle you're going to want to draw out three flaps that look exactly like this. These will then go around the camera lens and be held with the elastic rubber band. Then in the center of the circle, you're going to want to draw your object, or shape, or whatever. <laughs> I'm going with a classic heart that is always on Tumblr, everywhere. This is the most used example I've seen. You want your shape to be around 3 millimeters big. Then with your X-Acto knife, I went ahead and cut out my shape. And then with my scissors, I just cut out the entire thing. And this is what you should have. Something that looks a little bit like a radioactive symbol. And these are so cool because then you can just fold down the flaps and carry them around so easily. They're just like little discs and they're really cool. So I went ahead and I drew some other designs. I drew a music note, a dog paw, upside down question mark apparently, and a little star. And yeah, these flaps do not have to be perfect or in any way symmetrical. They just kind of have to be there, you know, just to hold your disc onto the camera lens. Then with my exacto knife, I cut them all out very carefully, might I add. Um, and then proceeded to cut them all out. And this was the outcome. 
They look so awesome. I am so happy. So I just put some paper beneath them so you can see the shapes a little better. And that's what my discs turned out to be. And yeah, they look so cool and I can't wait to try them out. Another thing you could do is just draw the disc without the flaps and then tape them onto your camera lens. I found out that that made it a little hard to manage the focus lens thing, so I just kind of scrapped that idea. You're gonna wanna then place your bokeh lens on top of your camera lens, and then with the elastic rubber band, just put it around the flaps like this. You're going to want to place the rubber band on a spot where it won't mess with your focal lens so you can just still like manage it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Let's get started. So my apartment is on the 18th floor of my building, so it's literally like a penthouse and the view is this. And it's super cool for this project because at night, this view turns into this. So yeah, let's give it a try. So first you're going to want to zoom in your camera as far as possible until it kind of looks like this. And then you're going to want to unfocus it as much as possible until all the light specks look like this. Then place your bokeh lens and voila! Look at all those hearts! Um, keep in mind that the more you unfocus, the bigger the shape looks. Oh, look! Wow, that's, that's quite groovy. Kind of reminds me of like a jazz club at night. Looks really cool, actually. And this is by far one of my favorite ones. The dog paw one, it looks so freaking cute. Look at it, it's like dog paws all over the city. It's so cute. I love this one. And then I drew this really weird ass question mark, but this then reminded me that I should have drawn on my shapes the other way around. Flipped. Yeah, guys, draw, draw your shapes flipped. And last but not least, I did some little cute stars, which are always necessary, especially for the festive season. They always look really nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos if you have any suggestions down there in the comments of any diys or tutorials that you'd like me to make also if you had any problems or any doubts about this diy then please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments below i will try to answer all of your questions but yeah i'll see you guys next week bye rain is good for the soul crazy